Well, Paolo Sotero joins me now for a closer look at the relationship between China and Brazil. Paolo is the director of the Brazil Institute at the Wilson Center here in Washington. Thank you for joining me. Pleasure. So uh, how would you characterize the current state of Brazil-China trade relations? I think it's a state of realism. I think initially Mr. Bolsonaro, for purely ideological reasons, had some doubts about it. I think he came around it. Uh, the visit from what we uh, understand uh, was a success. Uh, China is a vital trading partner for Brazil, the largest, and increasingly uh, also an investor in areas where Brazil desperately need investment, start with the infrastructure, where the Chinese have shown they're pretty competent, pretty efficient, and, uh, well, let's see where it goes from here. I believe that the challenge is more on the Brazilian side than on the, Amer on the Chinese side, because Brazil has to, and the process is ongoing, to reform its economy right. in order to benefit uh, uh, rationally and efficiently from inflows of Chinese investment. And it's interesting that you, you mentioned that starting point. We know that Bolsonaro recently passed the, the long-awaited pension reforms, um, really to try and shore up finances and get the economy back on track. Um, how far do you think the deals that he's going to be making on this trip, how far will that go to really shoring up the economy? Well, it, it, you know, this is, the deals are important, but the challenges, the economic challenges uh, that Brazil have are, uh, that Brazil has, are, they reside in Brazil. Uh, they are uh, excessive taxation, uh, which is one of the issues that is going to be tackled now once uh, pension reform uh, is done. Uh, there is also a serious need recognized by leaders, especially in Congress, that has taken the lead uh, to change uh, to what we call administrative reform. Brazil is too bureaucratic. And sometimes this discourages uh, uh, investors uh, from China and from other countries. So, you know, I see the Brazil-China relationship as something very positive, very promising. Uh, it is the challenge, the main challenge is on how Brazil can prepare itself to benefit from that relationship. So with that mindset then, what are Brazilian companies really looking for then from foreign investors? And what do you think China is looking for from Brazilian companies? Well, Brazil, China, I'm sure, is looking for raw materials in Brazil. This has been the basis of the relationship uh, since uh, in the past 10, 15 years. Uh, China is increasingly investing in vital sectors that uh, uh, would their investment would help to increase Brazilian productivity, which is a area where Brazil is pretty lacking. Uh, what the Brazilians are looking there, I think there is a challenge there. Uh, Brazilians are looking for markets. Obviously, China is uh, the largest market for Brazilian products, has been for a number of years. China has had a, 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 a Brazil uh, 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 has uh, been benefiting from this, especially in the past 10 years when China became the largest trading partner for Brazil. But it, again, the challenge is in Brazil. How can we benefit from this relationship in areas that involve technology, infrastructure, transportation? Uh, and uh, this is something that, frankly, has to be decided uh, in Brazil, uh, the Chinese are making some very interesting movements in offering, for instance, a, a, a better uh, rapprochement culturally. As you know, the Chinese offer to its Confucius Institute uh, uh, training in Mandarin, uh, which is fundamental. Brazil just opened up, uh, well, just revoked demands from 
or the, 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 the mandatory visa requirements for right. Chinese citizens to go to Brazil, this is brilliant, this is very good. And, Pro and you make an interesting point that it isn't just about the economics, but really also the, the cultural relationship right. between the two. Yeah. As, as you look at this, this trip, and, and just very quickly, some of the other countries planned along this trip, what do you think, as you look at the arc of this visit, what is Bolsonaro really hoping to get out of this at the end? I think he needs to get more and more investment. He needs to show that Brazil is is an economy, uh, is a country that is reforming its economy uh, because Brazil cannot, can no longer delay reforming its economy or it will be left behind. Uh, the, the world is not going to expect for Brazil to uh, reach some, to, to do some real uh, uh, construct uh, uh, structural reforms. I think this movement has started. Pension reform was a very first positive impact. There will be administrative reform. There will be tax reform, fundamental. And then I believe, very important, Brazil has to open itself up uh, for a better relation culturally with not only with China, with other countries. Brazil is traditionally a very closed country. Well, certainly we, we perhaps will see that changing. Thank you so much. Always good to have you on. Paulo Sotero there, director of the Brazil Institute at the Wilson Center.